guys good afternoon how are you all today well as here it's been very hot for several weeks now well obviously because summer is getting nearer and aside from that the holy week also is approaching so that's that may be the reason why well maybe it's true also because since i was a kid yes in the past whenever holy week is coming the weather really is getting hotter and hotter i don't know the reason why but whatever it is life is still very beautiful to behold right and let us enjoy life guys because life is a gift from our abba father in heaven all right so what do we have here this afternoon guys well i am here because i just wanted to share to you uh an essential thing which which i know can also help you whenever you encounter the same thing with your loving and faithful dogs all right so we we will talk about dogs this afternoon all right so this happened to one of my dogs goldie yes uh i featured him in my in my past vlogs so uh, if you happen to go over all of those vlogs of mine you will see my video about him all right so why am i sharing him to you because this there's one thing that happened to him which i really really did not expect to come to his body all right and i also did not we also in the family did not did not really expect this to happen to every dog that there it, it, it actually came to us as a surprise because we thought that this, this will only happen to humans like us but this kind of illness also i just found it now when this happened to goldie also come to dogs so what am, what kind of illness that i am talking here about well i am talking about a dengue fever all right so i thought that dengue fever would also could, could all could only come to humans like us like children which are the most vulnerable and the adults as well if we are really not that careful but we are surprised when we when we took goldie to the vet and then the vet found out that it was a dengue fever all right so the first symptom that i i saw on him before we talked him we took him to the vet was at that time his appetite really he 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 loses his appetite he doesn't want to eat anymore and when i also um, touched the tip of his nose it was very very dry and his skin also his fur is also very dry so um, i was already worried all of us in the family are worried because we really treat our dogs as members of our family and we love them so dearly so that's why when one of them really gets sick it's really a big a big problem now to all of us that's how we love our dogs all right so so when we took him to the vet he, he underwent many testings laboratory testings and he was and that's the result he was he he was uh, encountering a dengue fever so I asked the vet oh so such thing when I asked the vet about it I, I, I asked him about the that, that this kind of illness also would, would would come to dogs and then the vet just said yes of course mom it would also come to dogs as well so and then how can it be i i asked him again i asked the vet again and then the the vet just answered well it it came from fleas yes those sticks and fleas yes that goes on to their body all right 
it really came from all of those so i was just very very surprised at that but i'm just so thankful also because it was not too late for goldie to to get healed so when we took him to the vet again so he was already and we we found out that that day that he he's got this kind of illness a dengue fever and so we the the vet gave gave him all of this medicine so that's why i also wanted to share to you all of this medicine that the vet uh gave us so that when you also encounter the same to your dogs and this would also help you all right especially when we are tight on our budget and our budget is just um very very ample for our foods yes and for our other essentials so um, at least we i can all i can share to you this this medicines and also vitamins that the vet gave to us all right so let me share them to you now because they are very very effective to my dog goldie all right so i will give them to you now the medicines so here are the medicines now as you can see yes i hope you see it so that's it this is for uh energy booster yes and also mm -hmm. this is also another vitamins the lysavit i don't know if you're familiar with that all of those dog lovers and this is also another one for the liver, I think, if I am not wrong. And this is a dextrose powder, all right? And this is another one, okay? The antibacterial. And another thing is, yes, this one, a toothpaste alike, all right? Which gave Goldie the appetite again to eat. All right, so this medicines and vitamins, yes, that the vet really uh, gave us, uh, where are they, okay, are just very, very useful, all right, to my dog, Goldie. And also, the vet told us, to also because we have five dogs in the house and Goldie was the one who was inflicted by the dengue fever and mind you it was contagious according to the vet so that's what because of the fleas the fleas would transfer from the infected one to another so that's why and then again that ding, that dengue fever again would would again appear so to prevent that from happening so the the vet also told us to give the same to our other dogs which are not inflected yet to give to give that also in advance yes to them and so i did all of it the vet's advices and mind you for like after one to two days yes when since we took uh goldie to the vet uh he started he started eating and also his energy came back all right and we were also given that uh that kind of oh i i will just show them to you on my next video that kind of um that that kind of medicine which of uh, for the prevention of the fleas and ticks okay to to come to our dogs okay it is just very tiny as as, as small as this uh, which you will just get you will just pour to the body of your dog at the back the back which the dogs uh cannot leak it because it's also poisonous okay so it's very effective so that the fleas and ticks will no longer go back to your dogs all right so goldie now is very healthy as well as my other dogs so that's also what that's just what i wanted to share to you in case your dog will encounter 
such kind of a, a fever so um, at least to save your money from going to the vet because yes I know going to the vet is demands money and it's really a lot of money but to save it so at least I am able to just give that medicines to you so that you can just go there and uh, what's that um, buy it directly to the to, to the vets at clinic okay so let me tell you the symptoms all right the symptoms of a dengue fever okay so first your dog's appetite uh, would, would he would truly uh, lose his uh, appetite and also he is he is he's getting weaker and and his nose is very dry as well as his entire coat and the body there is the body also uh, one way also to see uh, if it's dengue is if the, the body also has that uh, what's this 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 uh, different different uh, like a, a red spots yes like a, a like that of a human yes red spots different reds uh, light um, different and no not different but several red spots on the body especially uh, on his belly so that's that's these are things to observe when you're of, of a dengue fever all right so you also have try to to touch the head of your dog if it's really if it's hot yes if it's hot so um, I um, that that these are the symptoms that I just I just I just found out and I just I, I saw from Goldie all right so I hope this um, gave you an idea at least a tiny idea on what to do in case your dog will encounter the same kind of symptoms all right so I hope this video has uh, has helped you in 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 uh, what's this in this uh, in knowing all the symptoms of a dengue fever and the medicines also I, I showed to you a while ago help you also in in going to the vet right away okay so thank you so much and I hope to see you on my other videos thank you so much and God bless you all